Good morning. Namaste to everyone. Namaste, Gopal Bhaiya. Namaste, Samila Jidhi. So today we'll start with uh, Usha Kumari Ji and her husband uh, Marilal Bhiji. So listening, a, a family sharing is always a uh, treat, like a treat for all of us. We get to learn many things. So let us listen from uh, Usha Kumari Ji and Marilal Ji. Namaste, Usha Didi. Namaste. 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 So, yeah, who, who is going to start the day? You, no? Ah, yes, myself. I'll start. Yeah. So, let me introduce you quickly, then you can start yeah. with your sharing. So, okay. yeah. So, Dr. S. Usha Kumariji is a professor and dean of corporate relations at NBCET, Rivendram, Kerala. She started her USB journey uh, around 20, in June 2020. Then uh, she is uh, having a lot of activities in USB, like uh, she has gone for gone as co-facilitator in ASCT approved FDPs, sharing content in our uh, in him, in our own institutions for their faculty, students, staffs, and different and groups and communities. And besides that, there is many volunteering activities we have heard in her earlier sharing and hope we will be listening today as well. So with this brief introduction of Pursa Kumariji, and uh, I mean, invite her to start her sharing based on the pointers. Ji, I shall be over to you. Thank you, Bea. Uh, good morning. Good morning, Sharmala Didi, uh, Gobal Babu Bhaiya, Sara Bhaiya, Sunil Bhaiya, all Mendes and my Co explorers. Good morning to all. As uh, introduced with Arabaya, myself, Dr. Osha Kumari, actually retired as professor and head of the Department of Electrical Engineering from Government Engineering College to Bandrum in May 2019. Currently, I am working as professor and dean of corporate relations at MBCT to Bandrum, Kerala. Actually, I started my journey in UHV in June 2020 onwards. I attended the first introductory FDP in June 2020. And for getting more clarity about the proposals in UHV, I have attended several times, multiple times, five or six times. Also, refresher part one, refresher part two, UHV two times, one online and one offline at our own institute in September 2022. I have attended UHV three at SRM University Chennai in May 2024. It was a wonderful experience for uh, seeing all the mentors in UHV. I have participated in the volunteer meetings convened at various places, RP development uh, meetings and done demos also several times, uh, morning as well as evening, and attending more online weekly meetings also. Sometimes are not able to attend the weekly meetings due to some personal reasons. This is the eighth time I am sharing my experience in the morning session. Actually, my vision of life. But my aspiration in life is to have happiness and prosperity, to be in continuous, and this act, aspect is clear. I have been improving my own competence over the days and helping others to improve their competence. And my state, before attending the UHV program, there was no clarity about the purpose of my life, my aspiration, and I was... Uh, having no control over my imaginations, I was not able to see the imagination going on in my own self because I was not aware of that during that time. In most of the time, I was influenced by the behavior of the other person or events happened outside and also I was concerned about my body also. Due to this, my happiness was depending on outside factors and I was seeking happiness from outside. Also, there was no clarity about the need of the self and need of the body. 
previously i was doubting the intention of the other person and finding fault in them there were a lot of conflicts and friction with the family members extended family members and colleagues during that time i experienced sometimes happiness sometimes unhappiness excitement depression etc now i understand that the major issue was the was within me itself that is instant reaction and the ego within me coming to take away from exercise 1 to and other usp programs from exercise 1 i understand that for achieving my basic human aspiration and ensuring continuous happiness i need to develop three things right understanding in the self right feeling and right thought in the self and develop the competence for living in the self the world outside exercise one to be aware uh -huh. i have to observe my imaginations at every moment without reaction now i am able to observe the imaginations within me most of the time previously it was very difficult to observe the feelings going on in me now i am able to check my feelings whether it is in align with the natural acceptance or not which is in align with the natural acceptance leading to happiness in me if the feeling is not in align with the natural acceptance i am able to drop that feeling after analyzing it now i am clear that i am deciding the feeling in me and i know that i am 100% responsible for the feeling within the other person or situation outside may act as a trigger only previously i thought that the other human being or the situation outside is responsible for my unhappiness i had complaints against them doubt on intention of others and i wanted them to change and i was expressing my observation based on my feelings during that time now i am able to understand the intention and competence part clearly previously a lot of issues were there between me and the family members then oh, but is the basis on which i decide my feeling thought if it is based on right understanding then it is in line with the natural acceptance i am clear that if it is based on assumption or preconditioning then there is contradiction opposition anger or irritation then which feelings are naturally acceptable i am clear that feeling of relationship harmony and coexistence are naturally acceptable whereas opposition disharmony struggle conflict are not naturally acceptable then uh, observing the feeling of relationship harmony and coexistence most of the time i am able to observe my the feelings in me and i am sure that i have still to improve my competence level by reducing the reaction level reaction level almost uh, okay now it is almost okay and not finding fault in others before uh, attending the morning session there were a lot of conflicts within the family after attending fdps exercises sharing content to different groups i have changed a lot i have i started observing each and every moment without reaction due to this i was able to see the changes in others also because i was changed that way i understand that the major issue was within me itself initially it was very difficult to maintain relationships slowly it has changed even though the other person is reacting i only respond because i know that there is some disturbance or opposition in the other person that's why the other person is reacting now the situation is solved i am calm and happy now i understand that i am the deciding person and what type of feeling i need that is feeling of relationship or feeling of opposition anger conflict or contradiction 
Now there is no suffering or sacrifice or adjustment with my spouse and children, but only feeling of relationship with them. And I, I'm also able to understand that the other person is also similar to me with the same purpose program potential. But the difference is only at the level of competence and there is complementarity at the level of competence. And then I can make a program for improving competence of both of them without disturbing the behavior of the other person. And it is done unconditionally. Now, uh, during most of the time, I am a listener. I'm able to sit alone for a long time. That is possible. I feel calm and understand that the life is light. And I am improving my self-confidence also. I am doing most of the household jobs with the help of my husband without any complaint. He is also attending the morning session regularly. I have seen remarkable changes in him also. His reaction level is decreased a lot as well as ego is also reduced. Both of us are exploring and sharing the content together, doing the exercise together. So it is very easy to maintain harmony within the family, with our children also. That's about exercise one. Then about exercise two, observing the body and interaction between self and body by the self, that is material unit. And interaction between material unit and consciousness unit by consciousness unit. I am able to observe that the self and body are two different realities and the transaction between the self and body are in the form of information through the space. I am able to see that. The decisions regarding the exchange of information between the self and body are entirely by the self and to interact with the body as and when required. Here I use the body as an instrument of the self. Then observing the distance between the self and body, I know that I am not the sensation, I am not in the sensation, but there is a distance between the self and body. Then associating meaning to the sensation, that is external events like behavior of other human being, physiochemical things, effect on my body, feeling or thought or imagination within. There are two ways we can read the information from the body based on knowing. It is based on under right understanding and right feeling or just assuming. Here also, uh, the decision maker is only me and the body acts according to my instruction. That is clear. I react when my samskar is based on assumption. I respond when my samskar is based on knowing. Here I have to work more to purify my current samskar. Sometimes I am influenced. Uh, and about seventh step, space part. I am in space, but I am not able to see the space completely. Uh, information that is self is in space. Body is in space. I, information is passing through the space. I am in coexistence in the space. The space is not having any activity and all the units are submerged in space. It is not energized, but all units in space are having activity, energized and self-organized. That's I have to explore more this step, seventh step. I know my destination clearly. I need complete freedom from all the units in space, but I am related to all and I am responsible towards all. I have to work more and more to reach the destination. And I am continuously improving my consciousness level or removing darkness from my own self or removing the ego from my own self. That's about exercise two. And 
my source of happiness is innate and within me without depending on outside matters as far as happiness is concerned self is more important than body now i am clear that i am not seeking favorable effect feelings or sensation from outside or seeking happiness from outside my program is that most of the time i am focusing on myself and i am deciding my activities based on knowing or right understanding and not based on assuming now i am able to refer my innate faculty my natural acceptance most of the time after attending 8 days usp 3 fdp at srm i have got more clarity about the upper level b1 block of the self that's about the information then coming to commitment uh commitment for contribution towards developing a humane society i am sharing the universal human yes. values with the faculty students and supporting staff of including cleaning staff security of our institution regularly we are uh, we are usually sharing the content uh, in the semester break regularly i am sharing this with my family members extended family members alumni working in different parts of the globe various groups of retired professors etc and also sharing this content to public with the different backgrounds and mainly concentrating on regional level and corporate section also because uh, i am a dean corporate relations at our own institution that's why we have shared the contents of uh, usv uh, two days workshop for a multinational company in january 2024 along with my colleagues at mbct uh, from their feedback it is informed that there are significant changes in their real, real life also we feel that the value education is very important as far as human being is concerned and we are planning to conduct the uh, student induction program this year also in a systematic manner it will be started from 2nd september with the involvement of faculty and senior student mentors also uh, then i devote more than 2 hours a day for developing right understanding right feeling and right thought in my own self whenever i will get time i am exploring within my own now i am observing each and every unit in nature keenly its characteristics different colors uh, shapes of flowers leaves etc i feel that the nature is so beautiful uh, we have a beautiful garden and very happy to maintain that by observing different colors of flowers petals different shapes of leaves in a tree etc in addition to that we are cultivating necessary vegetables in our terrace and in and around our house for the last 25 years we together doing all the activities in our garden and small farm and it is very happy to spend time in the garden we used to visit our friends relatives and professors retired about 25 years back they are seen so happy in our visits and our presence the another point already we have introduced usb2 for the second year ug students uh, pg students and research scholars also in our institution one batch of pg students completed the program and we can see the changes in them also and they are sharing in different occasions actually our college is a good platform for practicing and validating the uhv proposals from the interaction with the students i feel that if they are having clarity about the purpose of their life they will be living with the happiness uh, and prosperity and fulfill their aspirations i am personally maintaining good relationship with all the students and faculty in our institution and they are personally 
uh, sharing their issues and problems and seeking solutions also in between. The senior students have offered their willingness to share their experiences in their life after attending UHV sessions to the junior students and students of the schools in our campus with the support of faculty members. We students that we have selected 10 students as uh, student mentors for sharing their experiences after they have gone through the UHV program in other sessions and for the coming first year class also. <clears throat> Last three months, I have attended um, three to four PCA workshops, team centered interaction workshops also. I have seen the similarities between TCA axioms, four factor models, and the proposals mentioned in Universal Human Values also. Recently, MG University, Mahatma Gandhi University in Kerala, has conducted their outreach program for the senior citizens, namely. University of the Third Age, MGU3A at Trivandrum, from 12 to 14 in July 2024. They have invited us, me and my husband, for a session on universal human values, which was attended by about 180 senior citizens from across the state. The audience okay. have accepted the content and requested us to share the content at various districts in offline mode in the coming months. Shared the contents of UHV for a face-to-face -face two days program for our own junior faculty members at MBCT in July 2024 to equip the faculty for conducting SAP as well as for the coming semesters. Then shared the contents of UHV introductory session for the officers and complete staff of the Regional Passport Office to Andrum in June 2024 was seen as very effective from their feedback. <clears throat> I was the co-facilitator of the ACT approved self-funded three-day face-to-face UHV introductory FTP at KGISL Institute of Technology for in June 2024 along with my husband. He was the observer there. Shared the contents of UHV one day program for the Faculty of College of Engineering to Andrum from where it retired. We have shared the contents of UHV one day session at Bishop Jerome Institute of Engineering column for the faculty members in June 2024. Then shared the contents of UHV online sessions for MGU 3A members, some police officers and it consists of members from all districts of Kerala in May 2022. Then shared the contents of UHV three-day introductory session at Government Engineering College Thrissur for the faculty members in August 2024. Because my, some of my students there, as they have invited, it was very effective from their feedback. We have shared the contents of UHV one-day session at Happy Village Thrissur for the senior citizens in August 2024, I feel that it is very, it was very effective. Through the sharing of USB content, I am also exploring along with the participants. That is an internal journey. I am expressing my deepest feeling of gratitude to all the mentors and co-explorers. And this USB content has changed my life a lot and continue my journey. That's all. Thank you, Vaya. So now, uh, if there are no more hands, we can take comments from Gopal Vaya, then Sarila Vijay. Yeah. Namaste, Vishwaditi. Yeah. Namaste, Vaya. Namaste, Vaya. Niti. So nice sharing, Vaya. Nah, very detailed sharing of each step. And as per your sharing, you are working for your development and others' development. Yes. It is very good that we are moving in both directions. So in fact, when we work for our development, when we get resolved inside, then my expansion outside becomes natural. 
and when my expansion becomes natural then i will not feel hurt from others behavior appreciation mm. or criticism mm. i will be free from all these things yes so to becoming natural is our purpose of life and you are in such a position that you are able to expand this content reality to mm. many people and uh, one thing i would like to add here that uh, when you are conducting sessions you know, for such people so take a strong follow up also yeah so for example you conduct you conducted session for students or in corporate mm. so after one session or uh, then you take a strong follow up then you conduct again another session yeah. for them okay, okay and see how many people are ready to grasp this content in depth mm. then we can add them in you know in different workshops conducted by the ict morning session etc mm. so that others people may feel the same transformation that we all are feeling yeah ultimately each ultimately every person has to be transformed then mm. we can move towards a human society right so we have to develop ourselves then we have to help others so that as human society can be achieved and in this human society the next generation will be getting this kind the kind of content this kind of conduct from others mm. and then it will be natural for next generation to explore mm. themselves and live with a human conduct right so mm. this is input from my side so you take a strong follow up conduct multiple session for same audience yeah document okay. them note down their names who are more involved who has yeah. uh, those kind of sanskar which want to be transformed mm. so these kind of uh, uh, things you will do then it will help to ensure a humane society yeah definitely baby yes baby so nice baby thank uh. you keep it up thank you yes thank you baby thank you gopal bhai ji so now i need to begin listening from sanmila baby जी सभी को नमस्ते नमस्ते तारा जी नमस्ते उषा जी नमस्ते दीदी वेरी नाइस इट्स ऑलवेज अ प्लेजर टू लिसन टू योर शेयरिंग आई फाइंड इट वेरी होलसम वेरी कंप्लीट इन टर्म्स ऑफ मेकिंग प्रोग्रेस विद इन योर सेल्फ एंड पार्टिसिपेटिंग आउटसाइड इन द सोसाइटी um and i think you have been doing this for quite some time now yeah not just limiting it to yourself but also going out and sort of you know taking all these workshops in the various departments that you mentioned that is really uh, very very commendable i think yeah. and both of you i think form a very mm. good team it comes in the natural flow when we are ourselves comfortable within to help with the comfort of our family member yes. and then when as a family we are comfortable at peace within mm. then to spread this outside and help others also Gopal bhai has already mentioned that you know one thing we can do further is to have repeat mm -hmm. uh, workshops for the same people okay. after the span of time yes so that the follow up can be done because mm -hmm. we tend to do track in our regular routine work and one workshop maybe with lot of excitement but then things mm -hmm. go back to the normal state and mm -hmm. uh, unless it is um sort of um done again or mm -hmm. something is done on a repeated basis yes. it loses that effect after some time 
Okay. So that is something that you can try. Another thing I was thinking was, and I may have mentioned this in your previous session, uh, sharing, I'm not sure, that um, wherever you are involved with students, you can also get them to, to uh, make this into like a research paper if possible. Yeah. So that we can try to see the impact of this, uh, you know, talking of human values, its impact on the people who are participating in the workshops. Yeah. It may or may not have a huge impact, but I think, you know, such studies can be landmark studies yeah. and paves the way to, uh, you know, move from the workshop to a daily session, like our morning session. Yeah. Because uh, some impact happens with workshops once in a while but when the the sort of review or the reminder is there every day mm -hmm. then it seems to have even more impact so in that process if it is possible or even if you want to do that with the the people in the AICT I think uh, your contribution would be tremendously um, you know, helpful. So you can think about these things. Yeah. But, yeah, uh, uh, already we have started that work because very we are nice. the uh, organizing partner of that international conference to be yes. held at Tesla. That's already started that work. Very nice. Very nice. Mm -hmm. So all the very best to you. Best wishes on your Thank journey. You. Very nice. you. Thank you so much. Yes. It's a pleasure meeting you also from time to time when we Thank do. <laughs> nice. Now I'll be listening to Manilanji. So, Manilanji, Namaste. Namaste, Bhaiya. Namaste. So, let me introduce you quickly. Uh, yeah, then sure. we can start with you. Yeah. So, first introduction may be like uh, Manilal Bhaiya is uh, husband of Usa Kumari Didi. <laughs> then <laughs> next will be yeah, former project director, Corporate Academy of Professional Education in Kerala. So he started his uh, youth journey in April 2021, then played uh, a very vital role in the family as, as well as in the society. Uh, he has gone as observer for AICT approved MDP like uh, GD mentioned. And uh, now both of, uh, both of them are uh, dedicated to uh, share this content wherever possible. So, with this brief introduction, I may invite Manila Ji. Over to you. Thank you. Thank you, Bhaiya. Good morning, Sharmila Didi, Gobal Babu Bhaiya, Umesh Bhaiya, Kumar Bhaiya, Tara Bhaiya, Sunil Bhaiya, and the dear co-explorers. I am Manila, residing in Trivandrum, Kerala. Along with my wife, Dr. Usha Kumari, we have two daughters. The elder one, Swati, is a senior manager of Texas Instruments Bangalore, and she is settled there for the last 10 years. Her husband, Abhishek, is a senior manager at HCL Bangalore. We have a grandson, Achyuk, four years old. Our younger daughter, Shweta, is doing her PhD in Applied Mathematics in Epidemiology at Warwick University, UK, since 2019. I have retired from Kerala Government Service in 2015. Since then, I, have, I was working as the Project Director of Cooperative Academy of Professional Education, Kerala, which is running around 14 educational institutions. I am working as a technical consultant to the Kerala Bank, Kerala Housing Federation, Cooperative Staff Training College, and some other cooperative institutions in the state of Kerala. My journey in ESV. My wife, Dr. Usha Kumari, has been at exploring USV since June 2020, and getting inspired by her, I have decided to attend the USV one the five-day online workshop in April 2021. After that, 
I attended the USB to face to face workshop conducted at uh, MBCET Trivandrum in September 2022. I was fortunate enough to attend the USB 3 face to face program conducted at ESWA University Chennai in May 2024. I've, I've been attending the morning sessions since November 2022. It is helping me to improve my competence and get more clarity about the proposals in USB. I usually attend the USB sharing programs conducted by my wife for various groups and share my experience there. My state before attending the USB program, I have no clarity about my aspirations. My reaction level was very high and I had no control over my imaginations. Most of this time, I was influenced by the other person's behavior and the external factors. I was only concerned about my body. Due to this, my happiness was depending on the outside factors and I was seeking happiness from outside. There was no clarity about the self and the body. Needs of the self and the needs of the body. And there was no clarity about reaction and the response. Previously, I was doubting the intention of the other person and finding fault in others. There were conflicts and resistance within the family and with my colleagues. Previously, the real meaning of happiness was not clear. The major issue was my instant reaction and the ego with it. This is the fifth time I'm attending the morning session and sharing for the fourth time. I am continuing the process of self-exploration as my wife and I am attending the sessions simultaneously. It is easy for us to practice and implement its essence in our daily life. This has brought harmony in our life and be able to maintain harmony with my colleagues and other by improving the right understanding and the right feeling in myself. I understand that the body is used as an instrument of the self. I have more clarity about the needs of the self and body. My current sanskar is far better than the previous one. I can observe the importance of each unit in nature. I can see the four orders in nature with its natural characteristics and coexistence. Among the four orders, I can see that there is harmony in all orders except the human order. We have a beautiful garden and we are growing vegetables for the last 20-25 years. We too are taking care of the garden and are finding it happy to maintain. I can see the existence is coexistence. I feel that I exist in this nature because of the presence of space. I am improving my conduct through self-exploration. My current sanskar is far better than the previous one. Or I can say that the influence of preconditioning and sensation is reduced considerably. I am slowly changing from the level of animal consciousness to that of human consciousness. Takeaways from exercise 1 and 2. From exercise 1, I understand that to achieve basic human aspirations and the essence of and to ensure continuous happiness, I need to develop a right understanding in the self, the right feeling and the right thoughts in the self, develop the competence of right living in the self with the world outside. Observing the self by the self, I understand that to achieve the same, I have to observe my imagination at every 
every moment. Now I am able to observe my imagination most of the time. I know that I, I have a lot to grow. I evaluate my feelings, whether it is in line with the natural acceptance leading to happiness. And I am sure that my reaction has decreased considerably. Most of the time, I am in harmony based on the feeling at that moment. I am sure that my level of stress has been reduced notably. I know that I am 100% responsible for the feeling in my own self. Previously, the situations outside were affecting my feelings much. Now, I can stay away from such influences, mostly. With the right understanding and the feeling, I am able to maintain good relationship with my family members, colleagues, subordinates, etc. I can observe the feeling of relationship, harmony and coexistence as naturally acceptable to me. I am aware that when I am able to understand a relationship, harmony and coexistence in its completeness, I will be able to decide my feelings and thoughts accordingly in a natural manner. I know that I have to improve a lot. Then from exercise two, observe, observing the body and the interaction between the self and body by the self. Thus, I am able to observe that the self and the body are two distinct realities and the communication between the self and body is in the form of information. It is now clear that the exchange of information between the self and the body is entirely done by the self. With the right understanding, I, I am able to maintain my health through self-regulation. Observing the distance between the self and body, I can see that I am not in the sensation. I am not the sensation. There is distance between the self and the body. In associating mean, meaning to the sensation, it is through behavior of the other human beings, physiochemical things, and effect on my body. I read the sensation by, by decision, give meaning to the sensation. My reaction or response depends on my own sanskar. Most of the time, I am able to maintain harmony in my own self with right understanding and right feeling. I know that I have to work more to achieve my aspiration. Coming to the commitment part, I am sharing the essence of universal human values with my colleagues and friends. We will encourage them to attend the program. As both of us are sharing the content in most of the programs, participants usually come forward with their personal issues for advice. I used to attend the sessions and were handled by my wife at various places and to various groups. We are sharing the contents as a service to the society. I have discharged the duty as an observer for the ICT sponsored self funded three day face to face, face USB introductory FBB at the KGSI SIL Institute of Technology Coimbatore in June 2024, where Ashwin Patil Bia was the resource person. We have shared the contents of USB in an FDP on quality technical education based on human values as a part of their five-day program at the Bishop Jerome Institute of Engineering and Technology Kollam, along with my wife on 9th of July 2024. Thank you. I was one of the coordinators of the Mahatma Gandhi University's outreach program named Mahatma Gandhi University of the Three Days, which is an empowerment program for senior citizens across the state. 
which was inaugurated by the Vice Chancellor of the MG University on 12th July 24. In this three day program, we have got a chance to share the essence of USV in one of the sessions, which was attended by around 180 participants from across the state. Our sharing was well received by the audience and the requests were received from the participants to share the contents to their neighborhoods also. Thus, we are able to spread the idea of USB to a large group across the state. As I said earlier, my wife is sharing the content of USB to various groups through online mode also. Among these, some of her former students who are also the faculty of the College of Engineering Thrissur requested to have a face-to-face -face sharing at their college, but there was lack of funds. We agreed to conduct the offline program for them anyway at no cost. We managed to stay with a classmate of her and she was a classmate around 40 years back. A classmate of my wife for four days and conducted the introductory FDP for them from seven, three days from 7th of August this month. There were about 32 participants from the college along with other portions. The relationship and feelings portion were shared in details with the examples. At the end, when this session was dispersed, none of them raised for lunch and the room was in complete silence for about three to four minutes. We haven't experienced such an involvement of the participants anywhere before. All of them agreed that the content was totally different from their earlier perceptions. We received a good feedback from the participants and they were advised to attend the USB ACT program for further exploration. As mentioned above, the MGU3A has units all over Kerala. The coordinator of the Treasury unit is engaging the elderly people at Gokanjeri. They started a hearty village there and assembled assembling frequently to address the issues of the senior citizens. We got a request from them to share the essence of USV with its members. We were happily gone to there and shared the contents for half a day. Some of the ladies at their 70s were attending a class or sharing program for the first time after their school days. The participants were also requested to join online series sessions of ACT as and when possible. In various public programs we attend, we tell our friends the importance of USV that changes us in our daily life. That's all. We express our sincere gratitude to all of our mentors and cause explorers for transforming us into what we are today. Thank you. Thank you. Comments here on one level we are sharing, followed by seven levels. If I may, please. Ji, namaste, Bia. Namaste. Namaste, Bia. Namaste, Bia. Namaste. So, as Sunil Bia said, that you are inspiration for all of us. And yes. we are moving from family to world family order. So, <laughs> participating <laughs> as a family, as a team is a good sign that. Yeah. Yes, yes, we are. So, best wishes, Bia. We are running out of time, Thank so you. I will not speak much. So best wishes and thank keep you, it, thank you, keep it, and thank you, Bhaiya. Best wishes. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, thank you Gopal Bhaiya. Now, Sarmila, can you please put it? Ji, Namaste, Manilal Ji. Namaste. Yeah, like I said, namaste, you, know, you both yeah. form a wonderful team, <laughs> and uh, I am sure you are a source of inspiration for many others who are 
uh, in that process. And um, uh, mm. in response to um, uh, Prashantji's statement, I think you already answered that yeah. every individual is in need of understanding. So whether it be young, old, whatever, oh, so wherever, okay. whoever comes in your path, you are sharing. It's like a flower who has flower that has the smell, you know, it just spreads mm -hmm. everywhere. So when you have this opportunity and you start sharing, then whoever is in your path, you tend yeah. to share with them. And of course, the earlier we share, the better it would be. We may have gotten that this information as information in our 50s or 60s, but mm -hmm. if that system was in place, then we could have had it younger on also, and it would have been that much more beneficial. So I think you both are doing wonderful work, exemplary work, and all the very best wishes to you both. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Didi. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm.